The importance of restoring historic structures takes on new meaning when it's tied to your family roots. One family in the town of Canton, Mississippi, took special care in restoring their family plantation. These are the Mississippi Plains. Flat, rich soil, ideal for farming. And in the middle of that farmland is Sedgwood Plantation. Sedgwood Plantation was originally Bill Howard's grandparents' home, but during his parents' ownership, the home was almost torn down. When World War II broke out, the U.S. Army took tens of thousands of acres of land around this area for a military storage depot. They took 500 acres that was part of Sedgwood Plantation. The house sat on the property line, and my daddy was told to move the house or they would demolish it. So daddy rolled the house on logs 50 feet to get it across the line. Of course, horsehair plaster and five fireplaces don't roll very well, and it really damaged the house. After nearly 30 years of deterioration and an unscheduled move, Bill and wife Nancy decided to restore the vacant home. The first step was to return it to its original site. Instead of rolling the house like his father had done, Bill lifted the home off its foundation and had it professionally moved. Once the home was in place, the restoration began. Many of the floorboards needed to be replaced. The house is made 100% heart cypress, except for the sills, which are oak. To get lumber to replace floorboards, we needed 150-year-old cypress lumber, which we couldn't find. The roof decking, the lath boards on top of the house, had to come down for the new roof. We used those boards and planed them on site, cut them to fit to repair the floors that needed repairing. And it was a perfect match on the lumber. Bill also had to restore a part of the hall that he remembers destroying as a child, the front hall dentals. Growing up in the country as a kid, uh, you got a cap pistol and a red wagon for Christmas, and the rest of the year you're on your own. Uh, so you had to improvise. The dentals over the pediments and over the doors in the hall looked just like little bulldozers standing on end. So if you hit it with a fishing pole just right, you could break them off and some of them would fall your way, and then you'd have a toy bulldozer. Then years later, uh, I had to pay the price because we had to put all the little bulldozers back up there. Not only did the dental bulldozers need replacing, the original stained glass windows also needed work. When we began restoring the home, I was able to replace the 25 some odd panels that were missing out of the, out of the transom and the side lights with slightly different glass. As you notice, the original glass is more clear, like perfectly clear, and the new glass is grainy, and that allows us to tell the difference between the old and the new glass. Judy also helped her sister and brother-in-law with their new kitchen. My sister and I drew out the kitchen plan on the carport at our other home. Using the kids' chalk, we took measurements for all appliances and worked out the spatial design on the carport, and we're very happy with it. The Howards added a modern kitchen area, but left as much of the house intact as possible, including the home's original boards. Of course, the boards on the side of the house are over 150 years old. They originally were flat, and as they weathered through the years, the lower exposed edges became thinner and thinner and more rough and weathered. I expected when we restored the house that the new boards would look uh, really nice and the old boards would look too rough, but when it's finished, the opposite is true. The new ones don't look right and the old ones look perfect. Michael Collins, the home's contractor, was pleased to incorporate the history. One of the problems with restoring old houses, people want to restore the house to a perfect condition and then they don't realize they've over-restored and they've lost all the things that they really enjoy about the house. And so with this particular house, we're able to choose things that enhance the beauty of the house and keep it and restore it. One thing they didn't touch was the home's old fingerprints. There are several interesting family points of history in the house, one being a large burn spot in the floor that Bill's brother did when he was a young boy, the other being exterior boards with woodpecker holes on the outside of the house. We chose to keep those because they're interesting points of the house that preserve our family history. The Howards not only restored their family's house at Sedgwood Plantation, they continue to run the family farm. One of the wonderful advantages of living on an operational farm is involving your children in the day-to-day -day activities of the farm life. 
on our place, it means feeding the cattle, birthing of the new calves, watching them as they grow, gathering the eggs from the chickens, taking care of the horses. It's just wonderful to be able to provide these experiences for your children. Now that the restoration of Sedgwood Plantation is complete, the Howards have realized a lifelong dream. Their family home has been restored. Next, the fight.